Hey there, Joe. Good afternoon. It's Saturday, like 4.30ish. Um, yeah, I went to that swap meet earlier. Plus, I purchased a bunch since my last video. I have a serious addiction. Oh, yeah, right there. Right there, ejecting it right there. Yeah, I'm an idiot. But anyhow, let's start with some stash ad stuff here. Now, it's all stash ads. Uh, now, these first few are from the local hobby shops. Uh, picked up this one uh, just because I wanted to. Nice Mobius kit. 61 Pontiac Ventura. Picked up that one. I got two of these. Um, the 64. Picked one up at the Andrews Hobby and Hardware or whatever up in uh, Holland. And then I picked one up at a uh, Boardman Hobby. So I got two of these. They finally showed up. Everybody has them. I picked up the reissued Catalina. Now this one also comes with the three grills. You got the Catalina grill, you got the lightweight Catalina grill, and then you got the custom tube grill if you want to go custom. And you got all kinds of wheels. You got it comes with the uh, the eight spokes. Now they're molded in like a silver plastic, silver color, but it still comes with everything. So it's like it's quite the kit. There's a lot of parts. This box weighs a ton. It's packed in here. Stock, drag, custom. Yeah, you can go all kinds of ways with that. Then I picked up something I already have, but this is just a new box of the same old uh, two-door. I have this in one of the earlier boxes. I don't think they changed much except the decals, to be honest with you. I think everything else is the same, the wheels and all that. But I have to have it. So, yeah, I picked up those four. Now, that's the hobby shop stuff. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven kits today at the swap meet. Eleven. And had I more money, I probably would have spent more. So, I picked up this. This little Lindbergh 132nd scale Sprite. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, five bucks. Look at that, from the old Hills Department Store. Um, that was a store around here. I'm not sure what other parts of the country it was in, but we had them here. They were great stores. I wish they never left. And there's some of the other offerings they had. The MGA, the Corvette, the Jag, Mercedes, and the Triumph TR3. But for five bucks, I figure I'll save this for, uh, Next year, small scale group build. I couldn't say no. And Mitzi, what are you doing? Then I picked up one of these. Um, mainly one of my, uh, uh, whatchamacallums, uh, slot car customers wanted another wagon done up. So $10. That's even cheaper than the Ollie's price of $12.99. So for 10 bucks for a complete kit, hell yeah, no doubt. Picked up a 427 vet, which I don't believe I have this one. Um, basically the Baldwin motion car. But um, yeah, it's really, I mean, I'm going to paint it anyhow. I had this kit years ago when it was new. Look at the color it's molded in. Penny or Mitzi, whatever you are. Yeah, it's like a really light, odd shade blue. But it's all there. And, uh. Oh, excuse me. That was up really early. Uh, 20 bucks. Now, this guy wouldn't flex on his price, so I paid 20. I always ask. Gotta see this. 15. It's all there. It's been opened, but it's a seal, you know, all sealed inside. All the parts and everything are there. So for 15 bucks, it come on with me. 
And this one here, I think I paid 25. He was asking 30. Um, after building that Motorsports, the other IMSA Mustang uh, with the different, you know, body and nose and engine and stuff, I decided to go with this one. This is the GTP IMSA car, so yeah, so I got that, and it seems to be all there. And I have the newer release of the fastback version of this, but I got this one, 10 bucks. Open but complete. So for $10, I'm not going to say no. God, I spent too much money today. Ha, ha, ha. And I got this, um, 20 bucks. And the diecast car is still there. Because so many of these are missing the uh the what you call the diecast car. So yeah, I couldn't say no. So I got it. And I got this. Now this was fifteen dollars. He was asking twenty. Now it's been started. There's some extra parts in here from the that Ravel, the Camaro that was see someone the Camaro Mustang that was a uh, that Monroe handler version, but this is like a later edition with the red. But there's extra parts in here. All the parts to this one are in here, uh, but it has been worked on. But it does not matter to me much, as you can see. I'm not sure exactly what their goal was. I think they got rid of the moldings and puttied them in. If it'll focus. But that does not matter for what I intend on this one. Uh, there's a song by a band called Drive-By Truckers. The song is called Daddy's Cup. It's a song from the viewpoint of a son of a dirt track racer his daddy and uh, his dad doesn't race anymore but he teaches him everything to know about cars since he was a kid and once he turns 18 his, uh, his dad says well you're old enough now boy you could you want to go racing go racing but you got to buy your own car so the son says i bought a mustang number two nobody ever kept them any longer than they kept a pair of shoes they started showing up in every used car lot in town. A V8 on a go-kart, easy terms, no money down. So he buys a Mustang too, and he takes it home, and him and his dad and his uncle, you know, gut the interior, take the glass out, and he goes racing with it. So, I want to do a little tribute to that song, so I'm going to, you know, hog these wheel wells out, and, you know, Make it basically a dirt track, uh, you know, one of those, I'm not sure what class it would be in when it's basically a stock car, just with a roll bar and gutted interior and some dirt track tires, but I'm going to do some nice local dirt track car type thing with it. So that's the story on that Mustang. Pretty cool. So I'll, I'll get that. Uh, I finally gave in. I went to the parts guys' tables. I'm still looking for a windshield and a um, back window for this because I have the other one. And, uh, in fact, I got to wrap it in plastic, but this one's fine. So I just picked the whole kit up. I was hoping somebody had some windows separately, but they don't. At least there, nobody did. So hopefully Ravel reissues this and I can order up some, some windows for the other one. But I just gave it and got it. Then I got this. Uh, the buyer's choice reissue. I think I paid oh, oh, the cha oh, the charger I paid 20 bucks for and I paid 20 for this one too. Uh, dark dirt track car but um yep yeah, got that 
And last but not least, I got this. And he was asking, how much was he asking? He was asking 20. I got it for 10 bucks. This guy was selling himself cheap. My buddy bought some uh, big airplane kit. I mean, big. It would take up my whole table, the box. And uh, the kit goes for like major money on uh, eBay and stuff like that. And he got the thing for like 10 bucks or 20 bucks. And um, I was like, oh, cool. And he had a bunch of other stuff cheap. But here's the body. I mean, this is a vintage one. This is an old kit. Yeah, I'm doing that right. Here we go. But yeah. The old Woody. And uh, got your wheels and you got your chrome in here and your floorboard. Yeah, it's appears to be all here. You got some, you know, you got some parts that, uh, you know, if you don't want to build a stock, there's some mild custom parts here. Oh, there's a bicycle with it. Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. This is your, your wood grain for the, you know, in here. So, yeah. Oh, look at this. It said on the box it came with uh, some special wood tone paint. It's still in here. Wow. What year is this? Let's see if it says. Custom, blah, blah, blah. Model, corporation. Uh, I don't see a copyright date on the box. Might be on the instructions. Well, there's this. Wow. All first time first in model car tires. Wow. One piece tires were amazing. That was a special time, I guess. Oh, look at this. This is a piece of history here, people. Oh. There's a brush in here and a bunch of other parts. But for 10 bucks, yeah, that's... Couldn't beat that. So, yep, yeah, that's my uh, stash ads for this weekend. And it should be my stash ads for the rest of my life, but we all know that's not going to happen. And there's the destructions. Let's see if they have a year on them somewhere. Yeah, I mean, it's got this old MPC logo. Well, it's got a bedroll, fender lights. Yeah, cool. Got the Stingray bike. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Do I see a date anywhere on here? No, oh, I don't see a date on this anywhere. Huh. Yeah, I don't know what year this is. I'll have to look up on Skillmates or something. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I spent some bucks, but... Oh, well. You know, you, get, you only live once. Or something like that. Uh, so, yeah, well, anyhow, uh, I'm going to find a place to put all this stuff now. 
It looks like I'm going to have to be doing some selling or some trading and get, making room because I'm running out of space. Because <laughs> I've got an addiction. A really bad addiction. So, Okay, well, it's been 15 minutes. So for me... Oops. And a deuce. A deuce. You going to say hi? No. Hmm. Nope, you're going to come see me. Okay. All right, people. Well, I'm going to take off. i got other things to do. But I wanted to make that real quick. So talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. And I'll be doing some updates on the slot card bodies. I got a little bit of those done, but they're kind of stashed right now. So talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>